so welcome back to another Friday commute with me Ed and today I want to talk about do motorbikes have a soul <laughs> So what do I mean by do they have a soul? Well, I think there is two types of soul. I'll try and get the abbreviations on screen, if I can remember. But well, my interpretation of it is, is character, ain't it really? A personality. That's what I mean when I say soul. And every bike has character and its own personality. Because like the first thing we do when we get a bike is we name it, don't we? Most people name them. And from that, you the, the personality of that bike comes out. Like it doesn't have to be anything extraordinary, but it, it's like a unique thing, really. Because even though there's thousands of Ninja 650s, there's none that's the same as mine, even though mine is relatively stock. And that's because of how I treat it, how I ride it, how I maintain it. And that's its character. I mean, obviously it all comes from me, but... That's just what it is, ain't it? it We've given it the name and we've made it portray this image of that name to an extent. So what else do I mean by soul? You know, it's a sort of companionship, you could say, friendship, a relationship you have with your bike. Like, for instance, right now there's no one here but me and the girl, you know? When we go out on long rides, there's nothing but me and the girl. And that is a sort of, like, companionship to me. Because I have to, you know, fuel her up see that she's fit enough for the journey and then she has to get me there it's like in a weird way I'm relying on her getting me there even though I've made all the you know I've done everything for it if that made any sense but that gives the image of a soul doesn't it you know having that sort of vibe going on with it Because they're not just pieces of machinery, they're not just a mode of transportation like I'm guessing a lot of people would see the cars, even though, like for instance Herbie, is that what he's called, Herbie the car that could do all that shit? You know, he's, he's got a soul, hasn't he? He's literally got a soul. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you in, in this. I believe they do have soul. If you've got soul in you to give, then your bike will have soul. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. <coughs> Makes the bond between you a little bit better. So it's a bit of a fun topic to talk about, ain't it? Oh, excuse me. Does your bike have a soul? Does your bike have character? Hello. Hello. My voice went well deep then, didn't it? So yeah, I believe bikes do have soul. I believe bikes have character and I believe they have a personality. I mean, my Ninja 400, I named that Scarlet. 
That's a Scarlett Johansson. And you know, it was a great bike. It had a, a lot of feisty attitude. <clears throat> it was awesome. I named my Z250 SL Wender after Wender the Wendigo or a Vendigo. And basically, when I first saw the bike in the catalogue, I just was drawn to it and had like four months where I couldn't ride it because I couldn't like ride. But, um,. But um, in that time, I, you know, I was just going over it in my head when I ended up naming it that because of how the handlebars riz, rose out of like, I'm guessing like there, you know, like there. It just kind of looked like antlers to me. And I thought, oh, I'm not going to name her after some deer. I'm going to name her after like that ancient mythical beast, the Vendigo. And it was just this sick looking bike. I mean, I absolutely love the Z250. I just wish it had more power. I would have stuck with it. Uh, I'm not gonna go. Uh, come on, love. Grass, I might have. So, I hope you like my vid. If you liked it, do press that like button. Feel free to subscribe. It costs you nothing and it means the world to me. See you next time guys and girls. Keep safe. Head out.